hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a popular fragrances that you all and a whole bunch of other people i mean not all of you i'm sure some of you don't like them but that like they're super popular so many people love them but i just cannot stand them okay like these are scents that like i tried so hard to love and y'all i just can't do it i can't do it we're just gonna go ahead and get started because I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize in advance because I tend to be very outspoken and I feel like if I really hate something I just just don't be offended okay if you love this scent I'm sure it smells better on you like there's a scent in here that I think smelled really good until I put it on my skin like not everything works for everyone so let's go ahead and start with the first one which i actually dislike the absolute most like i cannot stand this scent it is so bad in my opinion which okay the house of mugler right here mugler he has two really popular fragrances one angel and one alien and usually if someone likes one they don't like the other from what i've gathered i enjoy alien I'm a fan angel however oh my gosh so this is the dossier version I've smelled angel in store um, in Ulta specifically after I bought this because this one and same with another one because I thought that maybe it was my batch I thought okay maybe it's just the dossier version it's not the same no 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 no, no. when I got there and smelled it it smelled the exact same dossier does a really really good job at duping popular fragrances and i'm very impressed on how well they got this but i really hate it so this is angel so this is gourmand patchouli by dossier aka angel by mugler and i'm gonna smell it oh gosh i just sprayed it on my hand the top notes are mandarin, berries, and passion fruit. The middle notes are patchouli, honey, and plum. And the base notes are caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. You guys, this one I hate so much. Like, I hate more than the other ones here. Like, the other ones are just like, okay, they suck a little bit. You know, they bother me a little bit. No, no, no. This one I despise. Like, oh my gosh. It smells like something's rotten. It smells like patchouli overload. When you look up on Fragrantica, this scent, like the original Angel by Mugler, it has so many dang scents, like so many dang notes. I just, what? They tried to mix everything in the whole world and thought it was going to smell good. Oh no. Okay, a lot of people love this scent. This scent does have a cult following. So let me stop being so mean. It has a really, really big cult following. And a lot of people love it. I just don't understand it. Like, I just, I can't wrap my head around why people enjoy this. Oh my gosh. It's like patchouli, but like rotten patchouli. But again, that's just my notes. Like, other people love this scent. You know, it smells different to everybody. And it probably smells different on someone else's skin. Because on my skin, y'all, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, not my thing. So, yeah, Angel by Mugler. This one's going back. I'm sending this back. Um, selling it on Mercari. Somehow, it's getting out of the house, okay? Okay. The next one, this is the last dossier one, okay? Because um, I've smelled this one for real also because my friend had it. And I thought that it smelled really good when I smelled it in the bottle. Okay, and this is Flora Marshmallow by Dossier, a.k.a. Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. So this is the one that's like super popular for Beyonce wearing this scent, apparently. Okay, apparently this is Beyonce's signature scent. So let me spray this. And let me describe it to you. So, I understand why a lot of people like it, okay? It's really sweet. Like, overly sweet. And, I mean, it's enjoyable. Like, I get why people like it. Like, the other one, I didn't understand. This one, I get it. 
Like, it's really sweet. It's candy. It's cotton candy. But let me tell you what happened when I put this on my skin. It smelled like the most weird rotten vanilla cotton candy scent. It just smelled so weird on me. It was like too sweet. It was just overwhelmingly disgusting in my own personal opinion. I feel like some people probably smell good with this on. Me? Not so much. Oh man. Ugh. I can't. I just can't. And then wearing it on my skin that one time. Like when I smelled it at the bottle the first time. It was like okay. And then I put it on my skin and now it's ruined it. So anytime I smell it at the bottle. That's all I smell. And it's so annoying. Because I really, really wanted to love this. I was like, oh, Beyonce love this? I love this too. I want to smell like Beyonce. Who doesn't want to smell like Beyonce? Me. Although, I think Beyonce's friend said that she wore this scent. But I'm not sure if it was ever, like, confirmed. Regardless, Killian's love don't be shy. It's a no for me, love. It's, it's a no. So, let's get into my two Ariana Grande Eau de Parfums because these ones y'all I can't go with it so this one is God is a woman yes I have the biggest bottle I'm so extra why did I get the biggest bottle and I didn't even know if I liked it it's very it's a very me thing to do but I should not have done that so this is God is a woman the packaging is kind of cute I don't know I have all of my Ariana Grande fragrances right there you can see them up there on this um, and I have like, oh, <laughs> I have like the little like stand for them and they all look really cute together. This one kind of is a little random. I feel like the packaging just doesn't look right with the rest of it. I don't know. That's not my business. I mean, when I smelled this, okay, for the first time, it smelled really yummy. I think it smells really good in the bottle. Like, when I smell it like this, I, okay, I'm sorry, all I can smell is Angel. Let me smell with this in. When I smelled it in the bottle, it doesn't smell so bad. It's like a sweet floral. It's not bad at all. But when I put this on my skin, it smells like rotten vanilla. I don't understand why I wanted to love this so bad. It almost smelled like rotten vanilla Play-Doh when I put it on. I don't know if it was the warmth of my skin, maybe my chemistry. I don't really know what the heck happened. But this one, I could knock it down with. I tried so hard. I wore it multiple times. Ugh. It smelled so bad on me. So I'm going to try to sell this on Mercari because I'm sure it smells better on someone else. But me, it was not my thing. Um, this one, though, I didn't like from the beginning. When I, when I bought it, because these were all blind buys, okay? I bought it. It smells okay. Like, it's just a floral. It's kind of sweet. Here's the thing. When I put this on my skin, again, it just did not go well with my chemistry. I don't really know how to explain it. I couldn't. Pickles. Okay, I've heard other people say this. I didn't really get it until I heard someone else say this. I didn't like it before I found out that it smelled like pickles. But then I started watching Xenia's video. And she said... That it smells like pickles or that she heard it smell like pickles. So then I went over to my cabinet and I smelled it. And I was like, wow, it really does smell like pickles. So, I mean, shoot. If you like pickles and you want to smell pickles, that's, that's awesome. Some people like this. Like, and that's cool. I'm really glad. Like, that's awesome. I mean, it's a really, really pretty packaging. Like, it's so cute. It goes in a little broken heart. I love it. It's so precious. But, you guys, I don't know. It smells it's like okay it's like a fruity like happy cute pickles it's like feminine pickles but on my skin it just did not I don't know what happened on my skin but these fragrances and mind you okay Ariana Grande's perfumes are some of my favorite perfumes that I own okay like some of her perfumes are like amazing in my opinion like I love them so these two, I tried. I tried, okay? I really, really tried to love them. I just couldn't. So here's the last one. And a lot of people, this is a very, like, you have to love patchouli to like this. This is the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. You have to love patchouli to get with this scent. Like, you have to like it. 
because all I can smell is patchouli. It's such strong patchouli. It didn't smell good on me. I don't, I don't like a lot of patchouli. Like, don't get me wrong. I like patchouli sometimes, like certain scents. Patchouli smells good. But this one, it was just, it's too overwhelmingly patchouli heavy. And I couldn't really get with it. So if you like patchouli, you probably would like this scent. If you like a primarily patchouli heavy fragrance. I don't know. It just, it's not me. It's not something I enjoy. I don't like it. Um, but I can see how a lot of people do enjoy this. I just, I can't do it. Patchouli isn't my thing. It's a little bit too mature for me. I feel like really, really patchouli heavy fragrances are a little too old for me only because I prefer those fruity I don't know basically I'm a child when it comes to scents and there's like certain mature fragrances that I really really enjoy but as for patchouli if there's too much patchouli in a scent it just smells like an old lady in my opinion not that there's anything wrong with being an old lady or wearing patchouli but it's not me it's just not something that I could pull off or wear um but yeah those were the five fragrances if I said anything that pissed anybody off I apologize I was not trying to be rude I just there are certain the next video is going to be a positive video about fragrances and I'm going to talk about my favorite fragrances and by the same companies okay I'll talk about dossier and stuff like it's nothing against the companies I love those companies I just couldn't get with those fragrances and if you wear them I'm sure that you smell great in them I just don't it's not my thing so yeah well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day. <laughs>